Hi guys, Batch here and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. And today I'm in Rathenfelt. I was here a bit earlier today, as you can see down by the river there, it's all pink and purple. I was out having a go with the bow and arrow, just getting a bit more acquainted with it. And I had a tip in my comments about this bow, the Razorback Light. Jempy commented that it was in the DLC. I did have the DLC. I thought this bow was the same bow I had, just reskinned. But obviously it's not. It's a lot lighter. Apparently it's more accurate. So we're going to give that a go today and see what happens. I want to get uh, a lot better with this bow. So it'll probably be mostly a bow hunt today. And we're going to place a tent as well. So we've got a tent right down there near the river. There seems to be a lot of roe deer and fallow deer all over the place. Oh, this is good right into the action. I'm right near the tower where I want to put the tent and look what comes out. Nice fallow deer. It's a beauty. Oh, and that's down. Good shot. I have a roe deer or two around me. That's what started this. A roe deer called... I give a roe deer call, <laughs> then a fellow deer call, and this thing ran straight out. So I'm just going to pop some more calls out. Call a, ro a roe deer in. I think I've got about two of them. One in front here and one behind. And it sounds like I've got two coming straight towards me. There's footsteps all around me here. Here comes the road deer around the front. i got one behind me as well. Let's get this one. It's a male. Nice little male. Oh, the other one spooked it and it took off. <laughs> Not surprised. They should have saw me straight away. They might not run too fast. I'm going to drop some more calls out. Uh, why not? We'll call the fellow deer in as well. It seems to be a nice little spot. And the tower's just in that clearing over there. So I've come down to open that up. Run into a nice little hot spot. Pick this big guy up while they're all spooked. Let's have a look. Oh, it's gold. It's a nice one. Worth a few dollars as well. Very lucky to get that. First kill of the day. Fantastic. Okay, great. I seem to have that square box stuck on my screen. Won't go away. I'm just going to keep hunting here. There's uh, still animals around. Then I might have to drop the tent and restart the game to get rid of this square thing on my screen here. It's a bit of a pain. Now yeah, I've got footsteps all around me again. It's probably those little roe deer. So I'll get one of these. There we go, we'll get it's that little male again. We'll get him. Got him this time. And spook the other one. But there's another one out there calling. So I'm just gonna stay here. Drop some more calls. This turn out okay. <laughs> gonna practice with this new Razorback bow, which seems pretty good. I'm really enjoying it. Seems a lot better than the other bow. It is very accurate, seems pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of road deer. This female's going to come in. Might get a shot at it. So I'm just going to sit here nice and still and keep calling. A lot of animals around. Just let her walk in a bit closer. Uh, even got noise behind me. Here she comes, get a nice shot on her. Yeah, she's down, good one. And we've got a fellow deer over there calling as well. So we'll give that a call. See if we can get him in, sounded like a buck. OK, 
Okay, can you hear the footsteps again behind me? I think it's the roe deer. It's a little roe deer. Just gonna have to wait till it appears. A lot of animals. I like in this spot. Here it comes. And it's down. Got that roe deer. And hopefully we can call this fellow deer in. Hopefully we haven't spooked it. Yet another row deer calls. Give it a call and get ready for it. I know there's a fellow deer in there somewhere too. Near the footsteps getting ever so closer, bit by bit. Just gonna have to wait till it pops out the bush here. Here it comes. Little road deer, and the fellow deer's behind it. This is good. I have to take the road deer. Poor guy running that quick, he couldn't get away. He tried to, didn't he? Just tried to <laughs> skiddle there, but I did get him. Probably a bit towards the guts. Not where I was really aiming, but he did try and run off. Looked pretty cool though. Let's pick these things up. And here's our little male. It's not a bad one. Another female over here. So that was a good little session, good little hunt right there, just in this one spot. Made a few dollars and got a bit of a uh, bow and arrow score up. It all helps. I am pretty pleased with this Razorback bow though. It seems a lot, I don't know, faster on the, on the fly there. It seems a lot easier to aim up. Probably because it's a bit lighter, so it's a bit quicker. And I'm using the same arrows that I did yesterday, the broadhead arrows. Thought I'd stick with them. The arrows seemed okay, it's just I wasn't happy with the bow. But now I am. Okay, on the map there I have my tower. That's where I was headed. So we'll go there now. And I'm going to put the tent down. And I'll have to log out of the game so I can get this hideous square <laughs> off my screen. It's sort of blocking part of it, so it's a bit annoying. So I'll rush over and do this tower. Trying to open them all up all over the place on these maps. It's a big job, costs a lot of money, but I don't mind. I'm going to put this tent here for now, but I don't know what's going to happen apparently in the next patch. We are getting six new outposts per reserve. And as you know, I've put a lot of tents in late and late, so I might have to move some of them around now because they might be right next to brand new outposts. They might be using the um, hiking lodges might turn in the outposts. I'm not really sure. Okay, we've got that tower up. I'm going to drop this tent. Then I will log out and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, I'm back. I've picked up the tent. I'm going to push it back a bit. It was in the way of the tower and just get it out of the way. There it is. So I'm going to go in and buy some arrows, sort out my inventory. This most likely will just be an arrow hunt. have a few more towels I want to get to and open up while we're here and just have a hunt on the way. Just have a quick look around before I walk over to the tower. You never know what's going to be standing around. Might be a nice fellow deer out there. But no, nothing. So I'll walk over. I'll open this tower up. Tick that off the list and move on. Might even have a hunt in it. I've gotten the tower and I called the road deer in. It's just standing over there. Probably going to have to give it another call. Get it moving. It has crossed the river to get to me. 
So pretty valiant effort. And all it's going to get for his trouble is an arrow. I'll give her a call, get her a bit closer. Someone using a chainsaw out there in the distance. Okay, she's moving out. Coming right out in the clear area for me. That's it, just stay there. Beautiful. I'm not going to hang around this tower. I'm just going to go down, pick her up and move on. I want to go to the next tower and open that up. Drop a few calls. If nothing comes in a minute, that's it. And I'm out of here. We'll go over and get up. So far I've been pretty accurate with this um, bow, although I'm still looking for the free pin sights. So I hit that towards the back of it. My aim was a bit off, but it did go down. So close range is things really deadly for the little road deer and fellow deer it seems. And we're going to move on up the river. I'll open these two up. Maybe even grab a third one. Let's see what happens. I think around the top of this hill, I have a fellow deer need, need zone in front of me. And I was worried about the wind. I've given a call, and I've got about four of them running towards me. All well, this girl's coming right close, so we'll smack her one. She's down, and her three friends are off. We'll pick her up and maybe drop a few more calls. Fellow deer sometimes don't run too far away. They wouldn't have been too spooked. I went right through her neck and hit the thoracic spine and earned me $800. Very happy indeed. Just moved across the top of this hill, dropped some calls, and the fellow deer was still there. They didn't run too far. There's still about three females there. I'll give them another call. All we've got to do is get one of them running and they'll all run up. This rattler animation is a bit weird, but I can tell you it does work. Some people have said <laughs> the fellow deer rattler doesn't work, it doesn't attract them, it does. And pretty much nearly all the time, so it's not a bad caller, it just looks weird. It's kind of moving a little bit. Sometimes these fellow deer get a bit nervous, they will run so far, stop. Sometimes run in circles, and other times just sort of turn around and start to walk off. When that happens, I usually just drop another call. After that, if they don't come, well then they're just not interested. But if you drop a few more calls and they turn around, nine times out of ten they will run straight to you. And that call's got this girl moving. That's it, that's close enough. We'll get her out. Oh, not bad at all. She's down. Of course, her friends are spooked now. They're run off. But I'm happy I got two out of four. Pretty happy with that. Not sure I'm going to follow this little herd. What's left, I might just keep moving on. Let's pick her up. I wish I could say I was aiming for them thoracic spines, but I'm not. I'm going for long shots. I'm just aiming high, and I'm quite lucky they die when they get hit in the thoracic spine. Here's my next tower to open up. Let's have a little look around this paddock. We've got some animals out here. Fellow deer and roe deer. Just have a little look at them. Maybe try and give them a call. See if they come on over. If they don't, we'll just walk down and open up the tower. It's a nice little um, field here, isn't it? Nice and sunny. I'm just going to drop some more calls and we'll see what happens. Might get lucky. Been lucky so far today. It's been a good hunt. I'm really enjoying this Razorback. I will be taking it with me on most hunts now. Uh, there's another little deer there that's walking off. These ones don't look too interested. And there's my tower just down there. Oh, the road deer looks a bit excited. It might run towards me. Get the bow ready just in case. That's oh, coming up pretty quick. Oh, the road 
LOD lost interest and the fellow deer didn't bother. They just walked off. So I'll open his tower up. What's that? Three today, I think, I've opened up, so that's not too bad. Don't mind spending the money. Okay, i got fellow deer all around me here. I did give them a call and they're running through these bushes at me. There's got to be about three or four of them. Let's see what happens. Sounds like I'm surrounded. There's just footsteps all over the place here. I've got one coming straight towards me. I might take that one. These other ones in the bushes. They're close, but I can't see them clear. Let's grab this one. Nice shot. Straight on. Oh, yeah, she's down. And all the others are off. I'm getting a few fellow deer today. Need a few more males. But I'm happy with those. They usually pay about $800, so that's pretty good. Since I'm putting up towers that are costing me $2,000, I'm going to need the odd deer that's going to give me at least $800. Here's our next tower, number four. That I've opened today. Is this a tower or a little box? Let's find out. It's a tower. All right, another one up. Here we are on the map. Turn that pretty pink around there, right along the river from our first tent. Just sort of stuck along the river, opening up these towers. So we've got a few more to open up. Eventually we'll get to those. Check this epic rock out. It's like something out of the World of Warcraft or Guild Wars or something. That is awesome. It's huge. Wouldn't mind getting to the top of it, but I do have a few things today. You never know. Maybe when their May TV's coming, we can ride up the top of that. This is the back of the rock. I mean, for a while, I could probably get up there on that side. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to push on. But it was very interesting. <laughs> Huge rock. I thought I was, you know, some sort of other game there for a second. Okay, Tower 5. This cost me a lot of money today. I did spend $6,000 to buy this bow to start with. Not to worry, I don't mind. I think I had close to $200,000 when I started today. Or around that, maybe 190000 have whittled that down a little bit, but nothing serious. I'll make all this money back. Just need a good hunt. A good serious hunt. There's another tower. Another $2,100 spent. There's about ten grand in towers today. A bit over. And $6,000 on the boat. Very expensive hunting day. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fast travel back to the tent we put down. So that little hot spot where we started and had all that action. We'll have a little hunt there from the tower. We'll see how that goes. I don't do a lot of tower hunting in this game, so I'm going to give this a little shot. I'll stay here for a little while and see what we can call in. Hopefully some good fellow deer would be nice. Even a red deer or two. I did hear one or two out this way earlier this morning. But they moved off quick. I haven't heard them since. putting out some calls and I have a female fellow deer or two in front of me they're all running around that bush just can't get a clear look at them drop another call or two gotta get one out in the clear here we gotta get them out of that bush Hey, when they run around in circles, like they can't make up their mind which way they want to go. One of them's got to run out here in a minute or two. I think there's two of them in there. There's one out the side. Females usually travel in like little herds. Sometimes huge herds of them. Just going to have to keep calling. One of them eventually will run out, I hope. <laughs> and I'll get a shot at it. From the tower. And right on cue, one runs out and another. Just gonna have to wait till they stop. The one that's closest will be the one. That's it, just stop right there. Try and get a long shot in. Probably hit it in the spine again. 
<laughs> oh, it looked a bit high. I don't know where I've hit it. There's not a lot of blood on the ground, and it's off for a thing. Uh, it was a bad shot. I've still got to work out my aim on this. I'm having trouble with the pin. I shouldn't blame. Oh, here it is in front of me. I have all the tracks right in front. Did I miss that? Was that a high shot? I am so confused right now. It's a bit Twilight Zone-ish. Maybe I have missed it. Looks a bit weird. And it seems to be the same one I was following because there's no other blood track there. So maybe I missed it. Or something freaky just happened. Don't worry, I'm going to keep tracking it. We will find this thing. It will die eventually. It has been hit. Here's some blood over here. All right, let's just keep tracking. Okay, I've caught up to her. She has gone down. Let's go pick her up. Should be about another $800. Yep, pretty much right on the knocker. And I did hit it once. So I don't know what happened with that other arrow. If it missed or something weird happened then. And finally we have a male fallow deer in this bush here. Oh yeah, I have hit it. I don't know, that wasn't a good shot. The main thing is I hit it. So we'll track this one down as well. I've got a bit of tracking to do. First time today. They've all gone down pretty much straight away, haven't they? So my first couple of bad shots here. But not a problem. There you go. If it bleeds, we will find it. Didn't look as big as that other male I got today. Oh, that other male was a gold, so obviously it's not going to be as big. It looks a bit small. It's a bronze, but I do get $900, so I'm pretty happy. I didn't get too far. Oh, another male fellow deer. I'm not in the tower, as you can see. I'll just stand there and hear you stargazing, looking around the paddock. So I'll give this a call. I have to move across here because the wind is blowing across. So I'll sort of move across. I'll be out of the wind's way. Let's see how big this is and how nervous it is. It's very close. There is a chance it will see me. I really have no cover here. I'm going for the shade. What shade there is. There's a few bushes here and some trees. I might be able to blend in. Oh, look, it's just over there. Let's have a look through the binoculars. Hmm. Looks like not a bad one, actually. I look pretty big, those antlers. Although I'm not an expert. That looks pretty big. Might be time for the gun. I'm gonna spoil this arrow hunt with <laughs> the ranger. Go for the heart shot. Come on, come out. Give me a good shot at ya. Yeah, go for the heart shot. Ooh, hit it. Twice. Didn't hit the heart. That hit it. Three bullets. Could be four bullets in that thing. So this won't get too far. It looked a good size one. I just don't really know how to rate them yet. I think that gold one, because it was sort of more like a Bambi, it had the perfect colour, that could help also. This one seemed a bit tan, a bit bland. Yeah, two blood splats, so both bullets I think hit it, one for each bullet on the ground. So I just gotta have to track this one down. There we go, maybe I did hit it four times. This could be good. It has to give a good run. If it has got, oh, it's got at least three bullets in it that I know of. So it has gotten pretty far. <laughs> pretty strong. Fellow so deer, let's have a look at these antlers. That does look like, not a bad size one, but I don't really like the color. Not sure the coat's that good. I'm still not an expert on these fellow deer. I'm going to take a photo for my album on Steam. That's a good looking uh, fellow deer. So 
I'll take a photo or two. I probably should have tried to squash the grass around that first fellow deer I shot today, that goal one. I didn't realise it was a goal one. I just sort of picked it up. There was too much going on. So there's some steam photos for me. Uh, that's not a bad looking fellow deer. And they look better in the rain. The antlers sort of shine. Uh, I better go pick it up. He's probably annoyed at me. Yes, four shots did hit it. And they shot sort of give 20 something percent. It's all every bullet done its job. It's only a bronze for $900. There you go. I thought it might have been a bit better than that. So it looks can be deceiving. Only a bronze. But I can't complain. Every bullet hit, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, there you go, guys. The Razorback Hunt. It was pretty successful. I sort of spoilt it in the end a little bit using the Ranger on that big fellow deer. Right down there it was. But I didn't want it to get away. It looked pretty big. I thought I'd give it a shot. And with the next patch, we're going to have another six outposts per reserve. So that'll be handy. I might have to move some of my tents around because there might be an outpost right near them. But I don't mind that. More outposts, the merrier. And we've got an ATV coming also. That'll be DLC. I think it's $3.99. $3.99. It looks pretty good. It might have storage. So that'll be handy. I'm going to get one. It'll make my videos a lot more fun and a lot more fun for me in the game get from a to b really quick all right guys thanks for dropping by and i'll catch you on the next one